Hey y'all, hey, and y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Yeah, we got somebody on the recording who is um, better known as Mr. Latrue's soon-to-be ex-wife. I hear the divorce is supposed to be finalized this week. Let's pray that it is. In the meantime, we have her on here, on her live, giving someone advice on moving on from when you've been in a um, domestic violence relationship and how to move on when you're hurting. Check this out. It's on a eleventh call. Hey <laughs> girl, no, <laughs> no, block. Okay, block, block, and celebrate, and celebrate every. Hour. It's been an hour. We'll celebrate. <laughs> if you can't, if your longest time was sixty minutes, celebrate, celebrate. A week, two weeks, three weeks, for before you know it. It's going to be 90 days. And you're going to be like, I did it, girl. I did it. I did it. I'm telling y'all, out of sight, out of, my, out of mind works. Because if it's not in your sight, it's not in your vision, it's not in your peripheral, what do you, you ain't thinking about it. Because it's not in your way to see. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. It will work. It works. Time heals all things. Time heals all things. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how bad it hurt, baby. Time. Time and out of sight, out of mind. You ain't got to see that person. You ain't got to deal with that person. You ain't got to talk to that person. You ain't got to see what that person doing. That is everything for you. That's what you need to do. Block here, delete. And let me not forget, go through your phone, delete all them pictures. Go through your phone, delete all them messages. Because I know y'all want to go back and see what y'all used to talk about. And, oh, it was sweet this one time. Oh, it was cute this one time, baby. No, delete. Bye. Gone. Get rid of it. And any memories in the house? Burn it. Rip it. Tear it up. Get it out. To the dumpster. To the trash. It's time to go. It's time to get rid of it. For real. For real. Gotta get rid of it. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm telling y'all. As time go on, you can be like, who? Who? She said, out of sight, out of mind. If it ain't in your peripheral, you ain't thinking about it. Because it's not in your way to see. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean it's not in your way to see? That's just like when she said, ball in the road. Anyhow. <laughs> The ones from the beginning know about that ball in a row. If you know about that ball in a row, comment and uh, make a comment down below. Ball in a row. Anywho, let's move on. Okay. How are you going to give anybody any advice on time heals all things? Let's be real. How are you giving advice on time healing anything when you gave absolutely nothing time? To work, nothing time to heal, nothing time to do nothing. The whole time from the time y'all separated, you have been hell on wheels. You have been acting like, and re listen to what I said, acting like you're healing. No healing has been done that I can see of. All you have been doing is playing games. Lying, allegedly, picking with folks, jumping in and out of relationships. Well, you know what? Not jumping in and out of relationship, jumping in and out of friendships. From your girlfriends to Mr. Wu-Tang, you can't seem to hold on to anything, anything you touch. You look up a, a couple of months later and it's gone. This young lady can't hold on to absolutely nothing. Now, as far as her giving the advice on what to do, great advice. Only if she had taken her own advice. All the advice she's giving, she didn't do on her own. She didn't take herself. This lady played games the whole time they were broken up. That's what she should have been on her live saying. When someone asked her that question, how do you get over it? You, you know, Y'all know what she should have said. 
You don't. Remember what she said. I can't heal from you. That's what she told Miss LaTruth. So she should have been all the way honest. When they said, um, how can I heal? Can you help? She should have said, you can't. I didn't. All you can do is act act like you're going to heal. Get on the internet and play games. Get on the internet and lie. Get on the internet and mess with your um, soon-to-be ex-husband. Try to take him down. Try to take him for everything he got. Hop in the bed with your friends. And y'all know why I'm saying that. Allegedly. Allegedly, she hopping in the bed with Mr. Wu-Tang. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what she should have got on there and said. Moving forward. Who? When? Where? What happened? I don't remember that. Who? <laughs> I'm on here giving advice and you on her talk about somebody in the past. See, I don't even know what you're talking about. Relax, brother. Relax. I'm talking about in general. And y'all on here saying I'm talking about, well, he on here talking about, I'm talking about somebody from the past. I ain't talking about nobody from the past. Hell, anybody from my past, I don't even know. I don't even know. Don't exist. She said, I be feel like I'm losing my dog on mine. <laughs> you be losing your dog on mine, girl. But this is how you co-parent with a person like that. This is how you co-parent with a person like that. Get them this face. When they're talking to you, because this is their intention to get a reaction, to get some anger out of you because it feeds them. They want to see some type of emotion. Get them a blank face. Oh, you know that's messed up. You know that's messed up what you did last week when I was trying to see my child. You know that's messed up, right? This is what you do. Okay, your child is here. I will see you at 6 o'clock. And you have a good day. Don't entertain the conversation. Do not entertain the conversation. Do not entertain the conversation. You hear me? Do not entertain the conversation. Do not entertain them. That's what they want. That's when you're dealing with a person like that, they want to get a reaction out of you in the first way. The first thing they're going to do is try to pull triggers out of you. They're going to talk about your motherhood. They're going to talk about how you're not a good mother. They know you. Okay. You the baby mama. They know you. They know you before you had that baby. They know your triggers. So you give them a blank ass face. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is your child. I will see you tomorrow at six o'clock. Here's a change of clothes. Here's this. Here's that. This is their schedule. And I hope you have a blessed day. I'm praying for you. And can she said, who? What? When? What? Where? You been? No, let me quit. Okay, listen, listen y'all. Who is this little lady talking to? And what is she talking about? You telling somebody, first of all, you give somebody relationship tips. And you, uh, you, you got a little attitude because that guy in your comments called you out and said, stop. Basically, he telling you, you giving advice on your past uh, relationship with your husband. And then you come back with, no, I'm not. I'm just giving general advice. No, you giving advice on how you so-called moved after you separated from your husband, which was not a good move. Then you say your next uh, word of advice is. Don't entertain a conversation because they know your triggers. So don't let them trigger you. Is this the trigger you're talking about? The conversation that you're telling them not to have? And is this the trigger point? Let me know. Because I don't want to get no lawyer. You didn't even want no divorce. I do. No, you didn't. I do. Yeah, you do now because I don't already went and filed. It don't matter. Well, I'm not, that's that's not the case with me because that's not the case with me because like all I'm saying to you is no, that's not the case with me. If I file for a divorce, I'm gonna get a divorce. I'm not. I don't. I don't do that fake stuff people do. Ain't nobody gotta do nothing fake. I'm just saying if if you're not if I wanted to be a bitch, I could be a bitch and just drag your ass out the court. Brianna, if Brianna, Brianna, if you wanted to, Brianna, that ain't gonna. That's that's not how it works, and that's not how it works. That's not how that works here. No, that's not how it works here. It doesn't work that way here. Okay. 
They will sign it for you if you don't do it. That's how it works. What do you want? They will terminate it. They, they, we ain't got to be the ones to do it. They will. If I don't show up. They will terminate it regardless, Brianna, okay, if, if you don't do, do it. You want, man? Golly. I called to get some understanding. What are you so hurt you don't about? Need no understanding because you don't give a fuck. Didn't you say you didn't you didn't you tell the you world don't you don't want to be with me? You don't care. Didn't you tell the world you don't want to be with me? So why are you calling me asking me about some understanding? Cause I'm trying. I want you to stop all this hurting that you're doing on the and internet. I'm done. No, you're not. You just did it today. Amora. And this is where y'all look to to get relationship advice. Okay. Well, guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. And you guys, my website is up. NydeaSkincare.com That's N-Y-D-E-A-S-K-I-N-C-A-R-E.com